when you've got your stick ready and you have it cleaned up you can leave it to dry out for a few days or use it straight away now the advantage of using it straight away is you're going to be able to do some of the drills and i'm going to take you through a couple now so there'll be something for you to practice with now these are based on some of the tai chi sword drills but again as i said to you earlier if you don't have a handy tai chi sword available then that's where the bamboo comes in in addition there is a stick a tai chi two person stick form that i'll attempt to try and show at some point and there are lots of two person exercises that you can do with the stick that makes it much easier than using either a wooden sword or the metal sword so the first once you've got the handle worked out is as you hold the cane like you do with the tai chi sword wooden or metal it's a very loose grip it isn't held tightly it's not something that you're going to hold on to rigidly and beat someone with it's very loose the wrist and fingers have to hold it in a very unclenched fanner, manner 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 and that enables you to let go of the, the handle with your fingers at times holding it just between the thumb and the forefinger so that it enables you to move loosely now if you hold on tightly to this stick you will see that if i try and repeat those same moves i'm having to use my whole shoulder my waist and my legs as opposed to releasing it loosely with the fingers so as these are drills you don't need to hang on to that handle too much very many ways like we do in the sword form if you've been working through the sword form with me as well so remember you just want a loose grip and you don't want to tighten up the arm or the forearm you want to have a very loose wrist so that the flex complete range of movement is available to you okay a quick drill then uh, to give you the very first steps and i'll come back to some other drill movements and stepping movements with the cane in a later video but in this one i want to just show you how to do basic circles for future partner work and solo work and also to do the first of the movements on both right and left Outside. introducing the feet work today i think that'll be a bit too much so the first thing i'm going to do is practice that loose grip again in a static position so if you take left leg forward for example or right leg forward doesn't really matter which let's go for your right leg take your right leg forward place the stick out in front of you with a loose grip and the first thing i want you to do is just small circles here now you can see these two these small circles going clockwise anti-clockwise wise anti-clockwise shifting around now i want you to see what the difference is when you hold firmly the stick here and you do the same movements can you feel the difference in your forearm and in your shoulder and in fact down your obliques and your upper back the whole thing is tense now if you relax again holding just between the finger and thumb you'll get this looseness of movement much bigger movement you can pan out really wide or very small you have a lot more control over it the arm is relaxed all the joints relaxed as they should be I can bring in the elbow and the shoulder and my body weight if I wish to so there's more of a reflection a manifestation if you like of what my entire body is doing or I can bring it back to just small movements of the wrist and elbow so try that in both directions keeping a loose grip and a tight grip try to get familiar with how it feels because a lot of the sword play work in tai chi and the cane work is about feeling not so much technique but getting used to how your body feels 
as you hold on to something. And what we're trying to avoid is the tension and um, solidity that we find when we hold on to things tightly. It gives us far less choice of re response and adaptability. So the first exercise, those circles just facing you here and back the other way. Then I want you to look at doing a circle on one side of your body. So let's take it over to your left side and with a loose grip again, bring the sword towards you and behind and back to the front. See that circle? And look at how what my fingers are doing. They're just holding it at that point and the other fingers are guiding it. It enables me to bring it backwards very loosely and I can keep this circle going faster, 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 or slower and slower. Now, if I try and hold on firmly once more to the cane, and I try and do that, it's almost impossible for me to do. It's twisting my joints in ways that are not comfortable to twist them. So I need to relax that wrist and fingers once more. So once you get used to doing it on one, one direction, I want you to see if you can do it the other way, from back to front, here. Going behind, and coming back to the front. Then I want you to do it on the other side, which is going to be more difficult, but you still need to do it, because what we're going to do is combine the two, one and then two. Can you see now that I'm moving from one side to the other, coming backwards each time, coming back down to the ground, over, back to the center point, down to the ground, up, and back to the center. Always coming down to the ground first, rising up behind me or to one side, and back over to the front, and then on the other side. Small twist of the wrist here, each side, now, if you try and do this with a stiff arm, you can see how almost impossible it is for me to do it without twisting, hurting my hip and lower back. So I need to relax that wrist and get that nice smooth movement in. Okay. okay. Now you've got your bamboo cane ready and you've looked at holding it with a loose wrist. I think we'll leave it there for today and come back to it and start adding different patterns and drills in at a later date. But this is just to get you ready for those workout sessions in the future and for you hopefully to get your cane ready for use. So uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below or on the forum about either construction of the cane or techniques and drills that we're going to be doing. Okay, so thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next session.